What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. We're finally back. I know you guys have been anxiously waiting for this and constantly asking me where it is in the comments. And hey, I don't blame you. I know it's one of my more popular series, I guess. I don't really know what to call it, but uh, I know that a lot of people have been expecting this to come back. Um, and honestly, after I came back from PAX and recorded that one episode, I just wasn't feeling the playthrough that much, I guess. Um, so I decided to take a little break from it because I felt like if I just head rushed it and was just like, let's go and record a ton of sacred gold, um, I would probably end up killing my Pokemon and, you know, it's a Nuzlocke, so I really don't want that to happen. Anyway, uh, today we're heading back up into the Goldenrod Radio Tower. I actually did a little bit of training, um, using that versus seeker code thing. Basically, it allows you to rematch trainers, so I went and rematched a couple of high-level guys. And, uh, most of my team members are around level 50. We'll actually see in a second here, I would show you it, but I'd rather just get going with this because it's probably gonna be a pretty long episode. Uh, but we're just gonna get going. Um, I guess we'll just keep Flygon up first. Why did the door open? Did you have something to do with this? Of course I did, I have the key, man. You should know about this by now. I would assume that, like, all of you know what's going on, so someone must have radioed you, like, from the from the basement area and been like, yo, this little kid just got the keys to the place. But yeah, uh, this is the team right here. As you see, three levels 50 and three levels 48. I said that really weird, but okay, whatever. Um, so Savage level 50, I think. Uh, Flygon, what is Flygon? Yeah, Gogglehead level 50. Fabby was already level 50. Actually, let's throw out Fabby. I haven't used Fabby in a while, I feel, and, uh, now that we've got or had a break, I guess we can start using her again, and hopefully people won't say that I only use Fabby because now everyone is actually caught up to level with her, so we should actually be pretty good to use everyone on the team. Unless, of course, we get put to sleep and then crunch two times, but that's alright with me. Alright, so there goes the first grunt. Um, a lot of people have actually been mentioning to me that this is probably going to be the toughest thing, and I don't know if I ever brought this up, but apparently it's a glitch that happens to everyone. Uh, I have no idea why it happens, but it literally happened halfway through a video. Uh, and I don't know if I mentioned it last episode, but it literally happened halfway through. So, I don't know what to do with these. I guess I could just toss them out. You guys let me know. It's honestly a glitch that the game has. I mean, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with 400 full heals. It's not like I really even use them that much. Um, but yeah, here we have the first Team Rocket boss. Now, a lot of people actually told me, and I apologize, I am actually a little bit... Not sick, but I'm nasally. I don't know. It's weird, man. I, I've been feeling weird. But, uh, voice cracks are gonna happen, so I apologize beforehand. Anyway, a lot of people told me that these guys are actually gonna be really tough. Uh, tougher than the last gym, apparently, and even the Elite Four, so... Hopefully, we can make our way through this, so let's take on the first one here. Alright, so I actually realized that that entire time, my game audio wasn't actually recording. So, here it is now, and we're taking on Proton! I see you're doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful, but since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of a Team Rocket Executive's wrath. Alright, so we're taking on Proton. Now, as I said, a lot of people mentioned that these are going to be the toughest battles. Actually, tougher than the uh, the last gym, apparently, and like the Elite Four and stuff. Actually, that's something weird. Uh, okay, we got Electro here, actually, which is not going to be too fun if it explodes in my face. But hopefully it doesn't do that. Um, before I can kill it with Sandtomb, but, um, as I was saying, apparently some people have been telling me that the Elite Four have different rules, where apparently Nuzlocke rules don't apply. I really don't know about that, it seems kind of weird that after the entire playthrough of going without- Oh, hey, look at that, a critical hit, that is a pretty nice way to start things off, but, um, seems kind of weird to me that after an entire playthrough of going through, like, you know, actually putting up with the Nuzlocke and trying to keep everyone alive and whatnot, Seems kind of weird to actually switch over and just be like, oh hey, Nuzlocke rules don't apply anymore, so... I'm probably gonna keep going with the Nuzlocke all the way through until Lance, if we actually even make it that way, because... I don't know, a lot of people have been telling me that these guys here, Proton and whoever's coming up, are actually the toughest battles of the game, so... Hopefully we can do good against them. Uh, we actually started off pretty well there with that critical hit, but... I don't know what Proton's got under his belt, man. Last time he had a really annoying stalling team, where he just kept toxicing us and trying to kill us, but things seem to be a little bit different now, uh, so hopefully we can actually do this. And actually a problem now is that I sent out Fabi really early, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna send out Savage. I know that his Surf probably won't do as much damage because the Drought is up, and actually that means that Camera Up's Fire Moves will be powered up as well, so... 
Huh. Not really the best thing here for Savage, but we're gonna go for Surf anyway. I hope that it kills it. It is four times super effective, so it should still do a ton of damage, even though we've got that Drought up. And... Oh, wow. A one-hit kill, anyway. All right. That is actually pretty good, Savage. I did not expect you to actually do that much damage with the Sunlight up. <coughs> Excuse me. I really don't know what's up. I don't feel sick. I just kind of have this weird nasally nose and, like... I keep coughing occasionally. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's this thing going around. Actually, I feel like I got sick only like a month ago again, and I'm already sick again, which is, uh, you know, not the best thing in the world, but I think I can deal with it. So let's send out Duchess here against this Weezing. Probably not the best thing to send out, but I hope this Psychic is actually a one-hit kill, and oh, oh, come on, Duchess. Wow, it actually misses the Thunder. That was a very big voice crack. I'm sure there will be a lot of comments about that one. I I don't even know, man, at this point. I, it, it just so happens. Um, I did a stream yesterday, and there were like 20 million. I, I'm sure someone out there counted them. So, I actually forgot I had the choice specs on Duchess. Um, so, yeah, that's probably why the Psychic did so much freaking damage. But there we go. This time around, we actually take out the Weezing in one hit, which is awesome. No one has died so far. Probably shouldn't have said that because that probably just jinxed it as we have Crobat coming up next. Um, I really don't know who to go for here. I could go for Raichu and maybe try a Thunderbolt. I'm actually going to go for Savage and see how much an Ice Fang will do. Really have no idea. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone for Savage, though, because, I don't know, that Drought is still up and it's kind of annoying. But we're going to go for Ice Fang anyway. Actually, is Drought even up? Drought seems to have gone away somehow. Oh, yeah, because someone used Rain Dance, I think. So it goes for Cross Poison, which is actually doing a really big amount of damage there. But we do have Speed Boost. So I think we could actually just heal up, and then we'll get another speed boost activated. And he's actually got a Citrus Berry, so never mind. I'm actually just going to try to... Oh, wait, wait, the Drought is still up. That's weird. I don't know why I didn't see it for a second there. Like, when I sent in Savage, it didn't do it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, you've got Cross Scissors, so I am out of here. I am totally not keeping you in. Um, huh. Okay, well, I'm going to go in for Fabi. I really don't know if this is a good idea. This guy is pretty high level. He's going for the Brave Bird, actually, so that is going to do quite a big amount of damage. I'm going to hope that eventually he goes for a move that doesn't do half damage, and then we can... Oh, okay, well, you're just going to keep Brave Birding me. That's not a good thing. Um, I really doubt Fabi is faster than this thing, so I don't want to risk it, but at the same time, you know, Fabi is the best, so I, d I don't know, man. I'm just going to keep healing. Maybe eventually he'll kill himself by brave birding that'll be a good thing but i really don't know so let's heal up one more time and i think one more brave bird he'll actually just kill himself wow okay well how about we do this <laughs> freaking crobat pretty much just killed himself there not not a very good idea um you know if Fabi's at half i'm gonna stay in on this though just because actually well intimidate doesn't matter because we are a special attacker and um if this isn't a one hit kill i actually was Kind of worried there for a second that Fabi would die, but hey, we got the one-hit kill, so we're good. We're really good, actually. And Raichu is growing to level 49. Learning Volt Tackle, actually, that is seems pretty strong. Um, don't really know if Pikachu's got better physical or special attack, though. I'm pretty sure he's got better special, but we're going to get rid of Discharge nonetheless for Volt Tackle just because, you know, it's a signature move. Ever since Ash's Pikachu learned it, it's kind of become a signature thing. And wow, we actually beat him. I didn't even realize that was his last Pokemon. Awesome. You may have won this time, but all you did was make Team Rocket's Wrath grow. Well, that that's unfortunate. I really don't care too much for Team Rocket's Wrath. I just kind of... I'm trying to beat this game here, man. You, do you know the importance of beating this Nuzlocke challenge? I don't I don't think he understands, guys. He does not understand. So, we're going to go for a couple of Hyper Potions um, and actually heal up our team members here. Uh, Fabi is good. Who else needs one? I think everyone else is good, so we're going to move on to the next floor where we've probably got another Rocket Executive to take on. Uh, this time it is Ariana. I don't remember what Pokemon she's got. I don't want to have Fabi up first because, you know what, I'm going to take the XP share off of Raichu now. Doesn't really need it anymore, does he? Um, I don't know. Savage seems to be a pretty good lead Pokemon, actually. So does Gogglehead, but he doesn't have Earthquake yet, so I don't know. How are you feeling about this, Savage? I guess I'll ask you. Well, he's actually turning away from us, uh, surveying the area. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take on Ariana. I'm actually just going to talk to her from the side because we're boss like that. Hey, you! Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? This time. Hey, 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 this time. It looks like you're really all alone. All alone. So it should be quite easy. Bring it. Let's finish this. All right. 
Let's take on Ariana. Ariana, Ariana, I don't really know. She's got, she's got that weird name going on. And Jinx is actually up first, so Fabi actually would have been a perfect choice here. But I guess we still have Crunch, and that is super effective. Wow. One hit kill on the Jinx there, and we get the speed boost up. You know what? I'm going to stay in. This is probably really, really stupid, but I'm going to stay in. I know that I'm faster than this thing. I'm going to go for the Ice Fang, man. That's going to be super effective, at least. Oh my gosh, I probably just made the biggest mistake in Nuzlocke. Getting cocky, because Sharpedo got a one-hit kill. And what are you going to use? Giga Drain. Is that... Please don't be a one-hit kill. Please don't be a one-hit kill. Please don't be a... Oh my gosh. Oh no. You know, uh... Both of my water types have died in exactly the same way, I've noticed. It's... It seems to be an occurring, a reoccurring thing that I just don't. Uh, th this time I knew though. I just, I just didn't care. I guess. Ah, uh, that was really stupid. Sorry, uh, sorry, <laughs> Savage. I know you really wanted to challenge that one gym leader, but I guess now you won't get to because you're dead, sort of. Oh man, this that's actually very very sad. Um. So now we don't have a water type. We don't have anyone to surf for us. We don't have anyone with ice moves to take on Claire. Uh, we still have Flygon, actually, who can do, you know, this Dragon Claw, but that's not really reliable. Oh, man, that is unfortunate. And so another team member dies because I am really stupid and I don't know how to play Nuzlocke. So I apologize to everyone out there in the universe that is right now commenting about the fact that I suck at this. I admit it, I really don't. I'm not good at Nuzlocke. I'm probably not going to do many more of these because I legitimately am pretty bad at them. Just because, I don't know, when I play Pokemon, I just, I like to have fun. And, uh, this was fun for a while. Now it's more of a... Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? There's no way Gogglehead's going to die right here. Okay, thank you. I'm going to switch out, though. This is not fun. Okay, so, yeah, this was fun for a while. Now it's more of a... I don't know why I switched into that. Um, this R box probably faster, but hopefully not. Hey, look at that. It is faster. Hooray, Duchess is dead too. <laughs> are you serious right now, man? Okay, are we going to have to run the Fabby train on this R box right here? Are we seriously going to have to do that? We just lost two team members to Ariana. I feel like... Even if we get through this battle, we're probably not going to do very well against the upcoming Team Rocket bosses. Okay. Savage was my fault, but Dutch is like, for, Re for Rizzle, man... Actually, that was probably also my fault. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not... I don't even know. Hange Crow. Um, I really don't want to run the Fabby Train, but I don't see any other way of getting out of this battle. I don't know if Pikachu is actually strong enough to actually take these guys out. I really have no idea. A Raichu. I keep saying Pikachu, but it's Raichu. Perugly is her last Pokemon. Um, you know what? Let's test out Volt Tackle. I really hope you don't have a ground type move. That would be... What do you think you're doing? Am I making a mistake by sending out Raichu here? Actually, Raichu still got Surf, so we still got someone to... Wow, that is actually really cool looking. I'd never seen Volt Tackle used in this generation before. That is actually pretty dang cool looking. And it... Oh, wow. This does recoil. I didn't even know that. So hopefully this body slam doesn't take us out here. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Pikachu with the clutch, man. Pikachu with the clutch. Can you kill this thing? I'm wondering. Okay, you can. Hopefully. Let's just see. I didn't want to go for Volt Tackle because obviously that would have just recoiled and killed us back. But wow. 3 HP on Pikachu. We still lost two Pokemon. And this is why I probably shouldn't have taken a break from recording this. Hey, Morty. Wow, this can't be a coincidence that freaking Morty, the ghost type trainer, calls us right after two of our Pokemon die. Like, oh, anything interesting? No, nothing interesting. Just, you know, two of the peoples I most love in the world have just died. I'm just depressed eating ice cream right now. That's no, no big deal. Nothing important's happening. Man, this kind of really sucks. Uh, we lost two of our, well... Let's be honest, Duchess was not one of the key team members here, but we lost one of our key team members, which was Savage, the, uh, the Sharpedo. Wow, I actually really liked him, too. I'd never used a Sharpedo before, and it was actually really good. 
Well, you win some and you lose some, and sometimes you just... I don't even know, man. But I guess we're moving on. Um, I might actually go pick up some other team members. Apparently, I already went into the, the freaking elevator, so... Yeah, it's probably not a good idea, but I don't think I have any other Pokemon that are really high level that I can use very effectively, so... I don't know. We've made it to the observation deck, and so I'm probably gonna save... Maybe go and get some other team members. I'm not really sure. And here we are at the final challenge of Team Rocket. Actually went ahead, healed up, and got a couple of new Pokemon on our party. We've got Rob the King in the North. The level 40 shiny Gyarados that we got back at the Lake of Rage. He's only level 40, so he's honestly not going to be a big help on our team against Archer here. But uh, <clears throat> I kind of want to use him just because I know he can learn Ice Fang later. Oh, actually, he already has Ice Fang. Um, so if I train him up, he'll actually be pretty helpful against Claire. But of course, before we challenge Claire or even get there, we have to take out Archer. So I've also brought along Sleep Creep. He's only level 31, so honestly, he's probably not going to be very much help. But, uh... He may just have to be a sacrifice for the greater good, so I'm sorry if you have to go down that way, Sleep Creep, but sometimes you just gotta give up for the greater good. So, here we go, up against the final challenge of Team Rocket, Archer. Ah, you managed to get this far yet again. You must be quite the trainer. We have taken over this radio tower and officially announced our comeback. That should bring our boss, Giovanni, back from his solitary training. Please don't come back, Giovanni. Just, just stay wherever you are. I really don't want to deal with you. Let's take on Archer right now, though. Yeah, I really hope that after we battle this guy, nothing happens. You know, the game just, it's over. That's thats it, you know? Like, we don't have to battle anyone else. Um, I'm actually going to go for the Sand Tomb here. Oh, no, wait. I always think Zangoose is a poison type for some reason. I really don't know why. It's just, it's always a thing that I think. And he's actually going to go for close combat. That, I don't know how much damage that's going to do. Uh, Zangoose is actually, I think, just a normal type. I don't know why. It just looks like a poison type to me, doesn't it? Kind of look like a poison type. I always think it is. Maybe because it's always paired up with Seviper, which is actually a poison type. So I kind of just think that they're both that. I don't know. It's just a weird thing with me in my head where I just kind of associate him with poison. But uh, he's actually just normal. And he goes down to one Dragon Claw. That, I, that Dragon Claw actually did a lot of damage there. I was kind of surprised. <clears throat> so Archer's second Pokemon is going to be Raichu, or sorry, Gyarados. <laughs> to which I'm sending out Raichu. Uh, because... I don't know, Gyarados always seem to just die from one hit of any electric type attack, so... Yeah, because he used that Intimidate there, I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt. I don't think the Bolt Tackle would do as much damage just because it Intimidated us. And actually, I haven't checked yet if Raichu has more physical or special attack. Kind of a... I don't know, 50-50 chance there, so I don't want to risk the Bolt Tackle not killing it. <clears throat> and actually, it would have done Recoil. And it takes it out in one hit, so that is actually pretty awesome. <clears throat> Sorry, now we are actually 4-4. Four to four. We've got four good Pokemon. Well, I don't know about Spectre. I really haven't used Spectre that often, so... Really don't know if Spectre can be considered one of my main party Pokemon here, but... I'm gonna go into Fabi. Maybe the Fabi train is gonna be coming back a little bit here. As he sends out Drapion, one Pokemon that we actually almost had on this team. Um, my Skarupi is actually still at the daycare center. He's probably around level 30 by now, but that's still not good enough to join the party. But, you know, at least we've got some Pokemon, you know, that are in reserve, just in case. Wow! Alright, the Fabi Train is back, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, I do want to try to use uh, different Pokemon against this guy. So I'm not just going to run the Fabi Train through the rest of his team. Uh, next up is going to be Machamp, though. So, honestly... I don't think anyone else can really handle that. Spectre doesn't have any psychic moves. Sleep Creep does, and we don't have a flying anymore. I mean, we have Raichu, but I don't think Raichu would actually be able to do that much against this Machamp, so we're just going to go for the uh, the next Flamethrower. If this is another one-hit kill, I honestly just... I, I think I'm underestimating Fabi right now. Okay, almost. Not quite a one-hit kill, and he goes for the Stone Edge. This may actually end up being the trump card against Fabi. Oh my god. Wow, that was... That was pretty close. I honestly thought that was going to be the one thing to take out Fabi finally, once and for all, but it was pretty close. Not quite. He actually goes for the Hyper Potion, and I'm pretty sure that Fabi is faster than this guy at any point, so... Uh, oh, wow. that I thought that was going to be a one-hit kill, but not quite. Um, I don't know. I don't want to risk this. I'm just going to go for the Quick Attack and really, really hope that it kills it. Yeah, it did. 
I don't know. There's always like the really off chance that Quick Attack will somehow do like one damage for some reason. That usually doesn't happen unless it's like a rock or a steel type. And next up is Scizor. I mean, <laughs> I really hate to do this because I know this is the thing that a lot of people. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I just misclicked. Oh no. Oh no. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Can we even beat this guy now, man? I don't even think Gogglehead can beat this guy. I'm, I, this Nuzlocke is over, man. Like, what? There is no way. Fabby? This is what happens when I don't record this Nuzlocke for like a week, or what, however long I didn't record this for. Oh my gosh, that X Scissor, man. That X Scissor damage. Are we even faster than this? No, we're not. I'm so dumb! What is happening? This is done. We're, we're done. This is literally it. And it's not even because I misclicked. And now Gogglehead's dead too. Okay, this is done. I'm done. Wow. I mean, we're probably going to beat Archer here. Can we even beat Archer? Okay, his last guy is Houndoom. I honestly don't even know. Can Spectre handle this? Probably not. Oh my gosh. This isn't even going to affect it, is it? Oh my god. This is done. And it what I... Wow. Why did I misclick that quick attack? To think that the quick attack would be the one thing to screw us over. Not even. It was just... I'm so dumb. I am literally so dumb. And I bet Raichu's going to die from one hit here, so... Wow. Two critical hits from the Houndoom. Alright, so... All those hopes we had for defeating Claire. All those hopes we had for actually getting through this. All crushed, as he's actually also got Solar Beam. The drought from Fabi was actually the thing to take us out at the end. Because, you know, he can blame for freaking Fire Blast one hit kill out. Wow. We actually at least take out Archer, so... I don't know. I, I honestly don't think I can do this anymore. All of my Pokemon died. Well, not technically, but pretty much all of my team members are dead. And Rob the King in the North pulls it off. Even though I said he would just die, but... Wow. Wow. Um... I mean... And Giovanni's showing up anyway, so... The one thing I said that I hoped wouldn't happen, here it is. My arrival is marked by a kid beating a Team Rocket executive. Disgraceful! Listen, kid, you've gotten yourself in involved in grown-up matters. I'll show you the... Are you kidding me? Okay. There was no way I was going to beat this guy. Like, let's be honest here. I mean, I probably could have beaten Archer, but then we literally would have had to battle all the way through Giovanni and... Wait, all of our Pokemon got healed. What? Wait. What does this- what? Th what does this mean? What does this mean? Is it over? Question mark with an exclamation point. Let me know in the comments. I'll probably just finish off all the way to Lance using the All-Stars. Actually, that's the thing, alright? The Nuzlocke is over. I'm sorry, I suck at it, but... What were your favorite team members from this playthrough? Put them down in the comments. I'm going to make an all-star team, and we're going to finish this. Not as a Nuzlocke, but we're just going to finish this playthrough. See you guys next time.